Hello everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm the naturalist intern at Clark County Park District and today I will be talking to you about muskrats. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of a muskrat before, but you might not know very many details about them, so I can help with that today. To start us off, the muskrat is a medium-sized semi-aquatic rodent. Semi-aquatic means that they live both on land and water, and they're in the family rodent, which means that they're closely related to mice, rats, squirrels, and guinea pigs. Now, adult muskrats weigh anywhere between one and four pounds and are eight to 10 inches long. So including their tail, they're eight to 10 inches long. I would compare this to the size of a loaf of bread. Now, muskrats are covered with short brown fur that is very thick. So you can see on here that it's very thick. And this fur has two layers which help protect them from cold water. An interesting fact is that the muskrat's fur changes with age, the same way humans do. Older muskrats tend to get grayish hair, while younger muskrats have light brown to dark brown hair. Their tails are long and covered with scales rather than hair and are used to help them swim. So their tails move back and forth like a propeller when they swim. Their back feet are webbed, which also helps with swimming. When the muskrats walk on land, their tails drag on the ground, which makes their tracks easy to recognize. So you might see around a pond, you might see um, just a thin line, so that means that a muskrat has probably been in that area. Um, muskrats can be found in wetlands, which is an area of land that is covered by water. This could be a pond, the edge of a lake, or ocean, um, or low-lying areas that flood frequently. If you have a pond near you, then there's a pretty good chance that you might have some muskrats also. Muskrats can swim underwater for 12 to 17 minutes. Think of how long that is. Most humans can only hold their breath from anywhere between 30 seconds and two minutes. The muskrats are able to close their ears to keep out water and their bodies are less sensitive to the buildup of carbon dioxide. They also conserve their oxygen by slowing their heart rate, relaxing their muscles, and constricting or tightening the blood vessels to their legs and tails. How cool is that? Most animals cannot do that. They also have a special ability in their nostrils. They are able to trap air inside and recycle that oxygen before it is exhaled. Pretty cool. Now, you might get a muskrat and a beaver mixed up because they are both large furry rodents that swim in the water. So how can you tell them apart? Their tails. Muskrats have a long, thin-like tail related to maybe a mouse, um, and beavers have a wide, flattened tail like a paddle. Beavers are also quite larger than muskrats. Now, muskrats normally live in groups that consist of a male, a female pair, and their young. They often fight with other muskrats over territory and potential mates and can end up being injured. Muskrats are pretty aggressive in that way. The muskrat groups or families build nests to protect themselves from the cold and predators. They build these nests into the bank with an underwater entrance. This entrance is used in the winter also. So the ice, when the ice freezes over the pond, the muskrats can still get into their underwater nest. Um, the muskrat has long, sharp nails that help it burrow and dig down deep in the vegetation the vegetation and mud. Um, this allows them to escape from predators and also um, give them somewhere to store their food. Now there are a few things that you should be aware of with muskrats. They should not be kept as pets and I'll give you three reasons why. Number one is that they can carry diseases that can be easily spread to humans and pets. This is dangerous to our health and could also affect those around us. Number two, they are an aggressive rodent. This means that you should never try to approach a muskrat or disturb their habitat. And number three, muskrats need a large space with a water source. If you kept them as a pet, they would not have adequate space to swim and do their jobs and they wouldn't be happy. There are some things that muskrats are good for. They make a valuable contribution to aquatic communities by creating open water for different types of species. Ducks, geese, shorebirds, and other wildlife use this open water to swim and find food. And also, plant species will have further room to develop.
Thanks for listening to my talk on muskrats, and I hope you have a great day. Check out our other videos on our channel.